All right, folks, welcome to my tiny home on a lake in Orlando. Let me just show you around here. Let me give you a brief tour of this little home I'm staying for a couple of days. So here's the front door. Uh, there's the view out here of this beautiful lake. I'm gonna go paddle boarding on here later, but first, let me show you what the inside of the house is like. Got a little futon for you know, folding out. If you have a guest or something over, you can fold this out. I'm just using it for storage of some camera equipment. Got my little workstation here, my laptop. There's a TV. I don't really watch TV, but it's nice to know that there is one and it rotates too. So, you know, if you're sitting over here, you can turn it to face the television. Okay, let's see. Kitchen area, microwave, coffee maker. I mean, they, they pretty much, they have everything you need here. They got all the equipment, all the cutlery, the silverware, and it's just a nice little kitchen area. Even the plates and everything all up in here. Uh, got some dishes in the sink. There's some more stuff for cooking here. Got a little stove top there, a little oven, a couple games too. The refrigerator right here. Got a couple things, a little muscle milk, you know. Meatheads gotta have their meat. A little snack in there. Trash can. Okay, check this out, this is really cool. There's storage, and it's all inside of the staircase here. The staircase leads up to the bed up there. And uh, there's also this cool little storage spot here for secret stashing of whatever you like to stash secretly. And then here, I figure this is like for long-term residents. You know, let me adjust the light, there we go. If you're someone who's planning to stay in one of these homes for a long time, they have like a big storage area up here uh, that you probably, you know, step on a step ladder to get up there. Really cool, so there's plenty of space for storage. Now here, the bathroom is in here. There's a full length mirror right here in front of the bathroom. Okay, got the sink, another mirror, another little window here. Oh, you know, one of the bathroom. You gotta close that for privacy, you know? Here's the toilet, okay? And uh, the flush is located down here. It's a little foot pedal flush. There you go, boom. Almost like an airplane toilet. But I mean, it works great. You know, I haven't had any problems with it yet. Uh, the shower here. Uh, water pressure is a little bit low, but the water runs hot, so that's really important. They got the shampoo, conditioner, soap, everything. Here's a little place for storing your clothes. I'm only here for a couple days, so I'm way too lazy to hang my stuff on the hangers. There's all my dirty clothes. I'll just throw them up there, but got stuff here hanging. My backpack. Okay, now let's check out the upstairs here. Okay, it's like a little loft up here. And you just climb up the stairs. And boom, check it out. Well, probably should have made my bed, but hey, you know, I just woke up and decided to make this video, so. You know, I got other stuff to do today. I'm in a hurry, but check it out. These, when these windows all close, it's really dark in here. But man, oh, it's a nice place to stay. It's really spacious, more spacious than I thought it would be. Um, there's plenty of room here, especially if you're just by yourself, plenty of room. And the only downside is because the air conditioner is located kind of midway between the first uh, floor and this loft, that not enough of that cold air gets up here. So it is a little bit warm. I like to open the windows and let like a draft come in in between the windows. You know, only three nights here, uh, staying in Orlando and really enjoying my stay, so. The best perk is that you open the door and there's the lake right there and there's free kayaks and paddle boards. And that for me is the real value here because I don't wanna just be sitting in my hotel room, you know? You get a place so that you have access to the world around you and uh, there's more incentive to get outside. So, why don't we go paddle boarding? Come on. Right over there, that's where the uh, tiny homes are. That's where I'm staying, straight ahead. They got paddle boards, they have kayaks. And uh, that cost of that room is about $100 per night. And it includes the cost of the, the lake here, access to the lake, the kayaks. I mean, that is, that is a deal. This is way better than staying in, you know, a hotel. Even though there's like more luxury in a hotel, I prefer this outdoors experience. I don't want to be locked up in a box if I'm staying somewhere. You know, I want to be out and about. I want to open the door and be able to step outside, get some fresh air. 
I was chilling. That's the worst part about hotels is you can like kind of crack a window and that's it. There's just no fresh air. But this, there's freedom here. You know? This is where it's at, right here. Life's good, baby. Life's good. I can totally see myself living in a place like this full time. You know, it's like, as a bachelor, it's really, it has everything you need. I've always liked minimalist living. I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't want a lot of stuff. I like the freedom of knowing that I can always just up and go uh, whenever I please. That for me is, is, there's power in that freedom. There's power in not having anything, not being attached to a bunch of material things. You know, if you have, all you need is a car and you can hook this up, it's a trailer. So this thing is on wheels and it's mobile. So, you know, if you decided to go to a different state today, you could just hook it up and off you go. Folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.